After Notre Dame's 1991 regular season ended at 9-3, Lou Holtz took over the subpar Irish defense, which had been ranked 73rd in the country in scoring defense. The Gators jumped in front 13-0 before Rick Meyer and the Irish offense showed some life in the second quarter. Lake Dawson slipped behind the Florida secondary and took a perfect pass 40 yards for the touchdown that made it 13-7. Notre Dame, trailing 16-7 at the half, added a field goal and went ahead 17-16 when Meyer found tight end Irv Smith for a third quarter touchdown that set the table for a crazy fourth quarter. After Florida kicked its fourth field goal of the game, the Gators came after Meyer, who fumbled the ball away, and Florida recovered at the Notre Dame 12-yard line. The defense Holtz would call bend but don't break dug in. Eric Rett was held to a four-yard run before a pair of Shane Matthews passes would fall incomplete. Matthews would end up just three of 13 passing from inside the Notre Dame 20, and Florida had to settle for a fifth field goal, putting the Gators up by five. On offense, Notre Dame spent the second half pounding away. The Irish offensive line averaged 35 pounds per man more than Florida's defensive line, and Jerome Bettis was big enough on his own. The 247-pound Bettis rambled for three touchdowns late in the fourth quarter, all coming within a span of two minutes and 44 seconds, with the last two runs of 49 and 39 yards putting the game away. In the weeks leading up to this game, all Notre Dame had heard about was how the Irish were again in decline, but leave it to Lou Holtz to pull off a Mark Twain, because reports of the team's death were greatly exaggerated.